<laughs> oh man. All right, let's see if I'm gonna you know, follow me on Facebook. They even block me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What's up, y'all? Y'all welcome, welcome, welcome. My fault, my fault. So we already got six people here. Hey yo, if y'all in here right now, just um say hey, say where you watching us from right now. Um two five two nine one nine. We want to know where y'all watching us from. We got a quick question in our poll right now. So go ahead. Um, if you could answer this um one question right now. Those of y'all that just logged in, do you have to have a lot of money to be a power couple? This is one of our questions. We got a couple more that we're gonna add throughout the show. But just answer this poll real quick um, as you're coming in and share this also. Share it up. Share it up real quick if you don't mind. Yo, Married and Poppin', we back. We live. We know you missed us. Some of y'all missed us. And, uh, you know, we missed y'all. We missed them right back. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool, cool. All right. So we listening to that Beyonce right now. That, that boss by Beyonce. So far, people saying no. Okay. Y'all answer that poll real quick. We got up there. <laughs> it's that Yonsei. You know, people like the You like you like Yonsei? Can I say Yonsei? I don't want to be have to get him. All right, all right. We're about to start the discussion real soon. We see people answering questions. Be sure to share this real quick. Did you tell Trey? You tell Trey this. Boss, huh. we ain't gonna be long, so sure enough. This Veterans Day weekend, shout out to our veterans. Hey, can y'all hear us real quick? I just want to make sure we testing out a new microphone. So if you can hear us, just let us know. Say yes. Um, like it. If we're too loud, say you're too loud. If, if we're not loud enough, let us know because we, like I said, we testing out a new microphone. We just wanted to make sure uh, y'all can hear us. All right, what's up, Antioch man? Much love, much love. So we about to dive in. Um, I, I think you shared it. Um, you gonna tag? We can tag. Let me tag the lynches in. I don't know what the lynch is up to. So first things first, we want to give. Uh, Tane is a loud dryer. <laughs> you can close the door. Uh, oh no, no, don't get up because you ain't got no pants on. All right, hold it one second. But you gotta start wear start wearing pants when we go live now. All right, so so as I have on pants, so I just close the door. We uh got some questions. So tonight the discussion is real brief. Um, it is about uh the uh common. Well, we're gonna talk about first common misconceptions of the power couple. Um, then we're gonna give what we believe are some key characteristics of uh the power couple in 2018. Yeah. Especially uh, in relations, you know, to to young people, um, but we want to first give some shout outs to some of our friends um, that are some of our. We want to call this the the young love shout out. And as you know, if you watch our show, you don't have to be married, right, babe? Right, right. You don't gotta be married. You don't have to. Uh, you don't even have to be be uh, per se engaged uh, or what have you. But if you just want to come up here and join in on this dialogue, because one thing that we are trying to do, we're trying to build a community of um people that definitely don't mind having these conversations about what true young love is and at the same time some people that we know watch our live they're building toward marriage they're building toward um you know having life goals with someone that they love and that is something that we care about yeah and not only um just couples it can be you as a person individually just trying to grow and um be a better person so um, we just want to share our love and share our youngness, share our poppingness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that, yeah, we're popping. Um, and again, it's how you feel. Young, being young is definitely 
how you feel. I talk to some people all the time, say, you know, I'm old. I'm going to say, man, this is how you feel. Because even when I get in my, you know, 40s, 50s, you know, what have you, I'm still going to, you know, try to make sure that, that I have a high energy and that, for one, um, you know, I try to work out so I can, you know, at least still try to look young. I know the flab will catch up eventually. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to be as young as I can. So first things first, we want to shout out some couples um, that we know of, we do know about. And please drop some um, names down below for people uh, that you know may have just got engaged. You know, we just want to give them a shout out. But we got three people. We got some people on our list. So some some of our dear friends, um, Justin, uh, Pastor Justin Barnes uh, and Shanika Daniels, you know, they about to get married. I'm mm -hmm. so excited about y'all. Love y'all. <laughs> Kiss you through the screen. Um, who else? Who's the next so people, boy, kiss you phone. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Okay, so next is Ashley and Clay Ruffin. They are recently married. Congratulations, Shout guys! Out. Beautiful wedding. Beautiful wedding. All right, and then um, we got one more. Uh, one of my um, high school friends, um, Brianna. Brianna and her um, fiance, soon to be husband, um, Rio Mario. Shout out to y'all as well. Um, we love you all. And if any of you that are watching right now has someone that you know, like say they're either engaged or just got married, you know, or whatever. If you just want to shout out somebody that's been, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend forever, you know, we just want to shout them out because you want to help motivate them, you know, mm -hmm. do that. We'll, we'll shout them out as well. But we're done with the and young love the shout out. Oh, go ahead. The next one is my faves. Oh, yeah. Lemonade. Oh, yeah. And Trigger. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Trey and Tiny Chef, we love you guys. Yeah. Trey and Tanisha. We did a lot of shows with them in the very beginning. Y'all love them. I know, Trey, we got to get y'all back up here real soon, man. Stop playing, Lynch. Stay home sometimes. All right. So uh, let's go. You ready? Yep. All right. What's number one? What are we going to be talking about? What are we talking so about first? So first, we want to know what you guys think a power couple is. So just write in the comments, what is a power couple to you? Yeah. Just really quick. Nothing like long. And don't long. get too deep now. If you want to get deep, you gonna have to. Uh, we have to pull you on the screen because we get, we don't want you. Uh, everybody can't be reading everything. But all right, but yeah. And so what do you don't think? Type fast. Yeah, everybody don't type fast. <laughs> also, a power couple is what is a power? That's good. I, I typed it pretty fast. I got good there. So what do you think a power couple is? Boom. How do you take this poll off? Can you take. Oh, you can. Oh, publish the results. Oh, that's pretty dope. Cool. All right. So the question again is, what is a power couple? What do you think a power couple is? Yeah. What it is like? What What does that look like to you? Um, we'll give you like you know, fifteen seconds. Yeah, you can turn your music back. Turn your music. Up. All right. I don't know what it, I don't know what, what we're listening to. I was still listening to Yonce. I don't know. I'm listening to Daniel Caesar. Mm, 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 mm. Take your time. Take your time. Oh yeah. All right, all right. Can you focus on? I like that song too. All right. I think this is like my go-to song right here. Best part. Be the best part. All right. You ready? Okay. So, so babe, what do you think? Uh, what is a power couple? Do you talk to me about that? Um, when I first like thought of the word power couple, I always thought of someone very successful, a couple that's very successful. Um, um, a lot of pictures, uh, and obviously some people that's in love. That's what I thought. Yeah. 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 It, um, I don't even know when did when when did this concept of the power couple come out anyway, man. Um, I don't know. It's been more relevant or like yeah, used because of social media. Social so, media. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know because people be like Will and Jada and like yeah, people from before social media was popping, but right. I don't know. Yeah, and, and it's just been noticed or the the term. I don't know. Right. It's been more relevant now. And when I used to see stuff about power couples, it's mostly about people of high status, right? Yeah. People of high status, people that have, um, you know, that like have a lot of money or they're famous or what have you. And I'm just like, you know, it's crazy because, you know, so many times, especially in this social, social media age, uh, where people can get easily confused. Yeah. 
easily confused and think that if you don't have that, then you're powerless as a couple, or that your relationship has no, you know, no merit or what have you. Or some people say something. No, it's just people joining in. Yeah. So, so my like I said, when I saw that, I'm like, yo, power couple. You see the hashtag. You know, they got they on the Insta, or they on Facebook. Everybody flips and taking pictures or what have you. So that'll yeah. go into our misconceptions yeah. of what a power couple is. All right, all right. Misconception. Let me make sure I spell it. So that. the first thing that you have is common misconception is that you take a lot of pictures. You have to take a lot of pictures in order to be um, a power couple. Uh, what's another one? I mean, that's a lot of things. Like you take take a lot of pictures. I feel like as if you have to show. Like, it has to be some physical evidence there. Well, people be like, I mean, because, you know. So, if you don't take pictures, you're not in love, you're not a power couple. Well, not even that. It's just, what are you taking pictures of? Like, what are y'all doing? Are y'all traveling together? Blah, blah, blah. You know, so people, it's more like flexing. Put it down. Okay. So, people flex. Flexing okay. means showing off for the, for the older crowd. <laughs> People. So flexing, would you say, um, like when people have matching outfits, matching shoes, and like matching tattoos? Oh, we're a power couple because we got this king and queen tattoo or something. Yeah, but that's so not it. That we know this. We know that you know that's one misconception, and then we know another misconception is that you have to have a lot of money. Right. Right. Because um. And it just really puts a damper on people that are out there grinding because at the end of the day, there are some some um, people that are some couples that are out there doing their thing, and I mean out there movers and shakers. But you know they don't really have to post everything, right? You know, um, I think back to uh, you know what I truly think is a great look at look at my boy LeBron, man. People, LeBron don't get enough credit. He don't get enough credit, man. You know, he's a, a real family guy. And I, although, you know, I was all in the debate of LeBron versus Jordan, I was always a Jordan guy, personally, only because, you know, I'm, I'm a little older and I was hating on LeBron because I, I didn't have no handles. But that's enough about me. But LeBron, I, I really think, um, you know, that that he, he doesn't get enough credit, you know, for the family, the young king, kings that he's raising, and, you know, just being there, there for his wife or what have you. Um, and that's powerful. I feel like that's powerful in itself. But he don't got to flex. It's like you don't have to uh, show off, right? Right? Look, look, Bruno can't be in the video. All right. So what's another misconception? I mean, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, we want to know. What are some other misconceptions of a power couple? What are some more? Any more? Any more? Do we miss anything? You think we miss anything, babe? Um... So what you ready? Cause I'm about, I'm about ready to get my keys. What I feel like, you know. Okay, you, you know first. All right. So one thing that today, so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward. So what I'm typing now, what we believe, cause obviously we can't just put our pen on other people. So these are some three keys. What did you say? Five. How many do we oh, have? No, honey. How I many? Didn't even have a number. You didn't have a number. You're just gonna go keep going. Yeah. All right. All right. Keys to being. The power couple. All right, babe, you go first. Put you on the spot. You just said you were about to go. Ah, so nope, you, you going gotta, first. You See, look this. now, if you a power couple, you know you got to be ready. Man. You got, that's you one got thing: it. being also ready. Be you also ready. All right. All right, go. You got it. All right, first one. I feel like in being a in being a power couple, you have to be able to um, share in one another's weakness, sharing weaknesses, uh, so that you know. Because if you don't know my weak areas, then that's not fair to you. Because eventually, I feel like I'll take out take out my anger, frustrations on you, and we can't build on anything in our relationship with weaknesses. So I think that's one thing right there. Write okay. that down. So I think one thing is to be connected with with each other so well that you know. Um, the goals, the common goals, it doesn't have to be the exact same thing. Like you might want to be, um, an astronaut and I want to be a veterinarian, even though there's two different things. I know what you want and our goal is to be successful. And, um, our goal is to build on each other and, um, help each other. I feel like that's something that's key. Um, okay. 
and expressing our love to each other and communicating, that's something that's key to be quote unquote a uh, power yeah. couple. What's one of your another one? You hit on a couple things because yeah. you said communication. So let me go ahead and put three communicate. But um just to, as far as <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> Bruno, get out of our video. Um that's funny. That is hilarious. You got to have a funny dog to be powerful. All right. So three communication. So two, you said I want to accord with goals. Listen, 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 Linda. Let me tell you this. Um, you really have to push one another. Yeah. You gotta push one another. Um, and it might get tense sometimes, but don't let the person that you say you care for, don't let that person um, just just remain stagnant. If they have a dream, if they have a goal, if they have a vision on something that they're really passionate about, and you know they're passionate. You know when someone's passionate about something. Why? Because they can't stop talking about it. It won't leave them alone. And also, you know, they always find their way back to it. Don't let them give up on that. Don't let your spouse, uh, whoever it is, your husband nor your wife, ever give up on their goals and push them. Your goal, one of your goals in your in your life should be to push your spouse toward their goal. Help pull them up, you know, and I think that is so powerful in and of itself to make sure that you are hitting goals. Because if you if you're not reaching for anything, then I feel like honestly, like 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 what are you doing? What are you doing if you're not trying to go forward? Because I'm sorry, the, the wedding wasn't enough for me. Babe, was the wedding enough for you? Yeah, yeah, the wedding wasn't enough. Having a good, nice career in the beginning is still not enough. There is more things that personally, historically, my family has not experienced, whether it be um, building wealth, whether it be, you know, owning businesses or what have you. That is something that I'm passionate about. She knows this. So every day we never let one another uh, give up on our goals, right? Yes, you were so adamant about letting that dog be in this video. He got up here. No, no, baby. See, I'm locking him up next time. The goal is to be happy. And I am happy. All right. Whatever. Anyway, so we on number four right now. All right, let's go. Number four. Number four. Oh, oh you cause I you know I, I can go for days I just now. Gave you two. What'd you say? Oh, be happy? No. What? Communication. Oh, communicate. And um uplifting each other. Okay. Uh Basically, um, building on your relationship and being true to who you are. Yeah. And then another one that probably should have been first, um, your spiritual um, spirituality. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> Take your time. I know that sounded oh, like that hurt. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Goal number four, laugh. No. <laughs> Goal number four, don't be dusty. <laughs> Your girl. All right, sis. Hey, don't come for me. Don't come yeah. for me. Nah, for real, but for real though, <laughs> laugh because you your spirit your rich. Your, 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 I roast you up here. Oh, okay. Yeah, laugh. <laughs> so I see what she, what my wife was trying to say. <laughs> oh, you know what we did. Um <laughs> was make sure you feed in your spirit. Make sure you feed it. <laughs> make sure you feed in your spirit. Your Whatever spirit. that is. Feed your spirit. <laughs> your spirit. We, I know, you know, we know everybody don't got the same religion and watching this, you know. But as you know, I'm, I am a man of the, of the faith, you know, and I do, you know, believe in Jesus Christ, and I believe He died on the cross for me, and I do, you know, believe in God. That is me. So whatever you believe, if you know, saying you got to make sure that your spirit is right, whatever is going on, because at the end of the day, whatever positive or negative energy you have in your relationship is going to impact the way you think, the way you talk to one another. The, the energy in your house. Some of y'all wonder why people don't like to come around y'all. Let me tell you why. You ready? Good. Yeah, they don't like to come around y'all because you negative. You negative, sis, bruh. Why you negative? No, don't nobody want to go around you like that. You need to have some have some, some positivity around you. You want some people hanging around you. Because at the end of the day, I don't want that negative energy. I ain't even going to invite you to my crib if you negative. I'm going to tell you that right now. Right? Right? You mad because I got you all good because you spiritual Richard. Well, like you got you, you know, take care of your spirit. At the end of the day, you know, your relationship will be what you make it. And, you know, I, and I'm going to go ahead and just redefine the whole thing with the whole power couple. The power couple is what you make it. Everybody got power. It's just what type of power. Oh, shut up. And I feel like put that down. as a couple, if you're not helping other people, what what is the title power couple for? What are you doing? Oh my god. That's good. 
that's good. Well, like, because it's like, what you got the power for? When I think of power, you know, we know there is power, power, oh, power. wonder working power. Power. power, power. Let me put how you say it. Wonder working power. How you spell it? It don't even matter. All right, so <laughs> start now. This is why we can't be doing this. <laughs> I love your accent. Say it again. <laughs> Say that again. All right. Now, nah, let's get back. Spiritual. Spiritual. <laughs> See, that's why they're going to kick us off the internet right okay, now. On, the internet police is out here. You use your power for good. If you are in, if you have um are in a position, we something that, you know, we love, you know, we went to an awesome event this past weekend called Welcome to Wakanda. It was a scholarship, um, a scholarship banquet slash gala put on by the um the lead organization um that was that started with Merck and now they're a nonprofit. So please I'm gonna try to post a link later so you can by any means donate to this awesome organization that is um impacting the lives of um young students that uh, have struggled a little bit or what have you and they are giving them scholarships. So thank you, Miss Angela Hart, for the opportunity. We love you both, you and Bruce. We appreciate y'all very much. Um but one thing that stuck with us over the weekend was sending the elevator back down. Yes. Send the elevator back down. Meaning we know what what does the elevator do? What does it do? Where does it take you up? Come on, help me preach now. What did you say? What does the elevator do? Where does it help you do what? Go up. I'm not See, you just give me that name. No, don't. The elevator. Uh, need to uh -uh, see stop, it. sis. The elevator understand. helps you go up. It sends okay. you up. Now, when we're talking about going up in life or what have you, we got to send the elevator back down. We got to send it back down to bring some more people with us. There's no point in being a power couple if you're not reaching out to help somebody else. It's that simple. There is no point. You have to be able and be willing to help someone, right? Yep. Send that elevator back down. Let me write that down. If y'all need to put that there. When you get where you're going, when you get whatever floor you're on, send the elevator back down. Wait a minute.